Ukraine's intelligence Kabul 9 Special Operations Group destroys numerous Russian supply chains. Representative of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, Andriy Yusov, says that the Kabul 9 Special Operations Group has conducted successful operations and destroyed multiple Russian supply chains, according to Ukraine form. The Kabul 9 unit was formed at the onset of the all out war in Ukraine. It includes veterans of special services and the Ukrainian military. The unit's fighters participate in repelling Russian advances near Kyiv and defended the Ukrainian capital, Hostomel, and Braveri in 2022. After the Russians retreated from northern Ukraine, the unit was redeployed to the south. Mortar teams and sniper groups of the main intelligence directorate unit also operated during the defense of Bakhmut. The group from the Kabul 9 Special Operations Units is showing excellent results and we see a lot of destroyed Russian equipment, vehicles and armoured vehicles, Yusuf said. According to him, military logistics is a crucial target for the defence and security forces, especially for the Ukrainian Intelligence Special Operations Unit. A large number of Kamaz and Ural trucks have been destroyed by the Kabul 9, which transported ammunition, fuel, food, provisions and personnel for Russian forces. Earlier, a unit fighter told RBC that Moscow troops were also learning to prevent Ukrainian drones from targeting their logistics facilities and vehicles by installing electronic warfare systems on their equipment. In addition, the Russians change the supply routes constantly and move at night or dark hours, covering from Ukraine's FPVs. Despite this, now we have also been supplied with night vision cameras and there have already been numerous nighttime strikes when the enemy hasn't had the opportunity to escape. They still need to carry out their logistical tasks, so they are forced to take risks, the fighter explained. Special operations forces of Ukraine often report eliminating enemy personnel concentrations with FPV drones, with reports detailing the elimination of more than a dozen Russian soldiers during one successful mission, as well as the destruction of various pieces of military equipment, including armored personnel carriers, tanks, anti-aircraft missile gun complexes, self-propelled artillery pieces, howitzers, mortar positions and TOS 1A 220mm Sant Sepkoi MLRS fitted with thermobaric warheads. Сука. Или по нам опять. А. А. Машина перевернула. Сука. Блядь, я... А. Да она им все, вон. То ли добили они ее, то ли что, хуй знает, короче, непонятно. Вот. Там бак ебал, мы 
Подойти не успели. Каску забрали только на хрущевку.